Hello everyone. Today's video is about operating in a shack with multiple HF transceivers or HF receivers without risking to break anything. Okay. <laughs> if you have a very sensible equipment, HF equipment receiver on an independent antenna and a transceiver on another antenna and you transmit like me at one kilowatt, there's a big chance that you will blow up your radio, your, re your receiver because of the RF that's going to get in. Okay. The signal will be too strong. So you have to be very caref careful and you need to read the manufacturer manual. I did in the past contact a manufacturer and ask him if it was okay with my setup and if there was any risk of blowing the radio. Okay. So this is important. I, I, I have a lot of HF transceivers. I love radios, okay? It's like people, you know, they, they collect cars. I collect radio, okay? <laughs> I like that. And I don't want to blow my radios. So I have a system that works for me, okay? And you have to be very careful. This is a disclaimer, okay? Check everything twice and be sure, do not make any mistake with that because you can blow your radio, okay? But my setup, I've been set up for a few years and it worked great. I never had any issue, okay, with this setup because I took very good care. But there is some sacrifice doing that, okay? Let me explain. Outside, I got my urban beam, which covers from 6 to 40 meter. I also have my 80 meter antenna, okay, which is an inverted V dipole. They all come in into a switch. RCS-8V also have a video review on that. That I modify, so when an antenna port is not selected, it is go, it, it's going to ground, okay? So the unused port are ground by default. All my antenna outside come into this switch, and only one coax for HF coming into the shack, it goes, okay, into this alpha delta switch here, okay, which is why this type of switch, because they are very, very well isolated, okay, and every time you select an antenna port, the other port going to ground as well. So, I have outside all my HF antenna coming in, the shack, uh, coming in, uh, going into the switch, okay, outside, and all, uh, only one cable of all, for all the antenna are coming in the shack. This cable goes into the switch here, okay? So on the antenna port that you can see here. And my HF radio are connected on the other port. So when I select an antenna port here, okay? What's gonna happen is I put all the other port to ground. And when I select a radio, the unused port are to ground as well. So I have double protection. So there's no second antenna that can bring RF into my shack because all the port are to ground. There is no other antenna connected to my HF radio. And when they're not used, when I'm using one and not the others, the, the, the antenna port is to ground as well. So this ensure that I have Two protection, no RF can come in the shack. There's no antenna, other antenna picking up RF, bringing that into another radio. When not used, all the antenna are to ground. And when not used, all the transceiver are to ground, okay? So this is how I work. Also, as a precaution measure, you can see here, I got the 7300. I don't use six meter very often, okay? So I always put the radio before I shut it down to six meter. Why? Because if I use another radio, I try, I don't know if it, if, it, if that works or do something, but I think when you select the, the bandpass filter, I don't know when the radio is turned off, it, if it does anything. Okay, I'm not sure about that. We will have to ask a radio manufacturer or someone that knows that very well. Maybe someone, if you know that, go in the comments below. But, I do that because I, I usually works on, on 40, 80 meter and 20 meters. Okay. So that's my main HF band. So I try to, to 
put the other radio on, you know, try to select a band that is further away as possible from the others, okay? So it's just another precaution measure. Doing this, I never blow any HF radio in the past, okay? So I think it's a uh, it's good precaution. It worked for me, maybe it worked for you. So if you have multiple HF, maybe you have another recipe, maybe you do the same, but uh, this is what I do for me. Of course, you cannot work, you know, have all the radio working at the same time because you can only use one at a time. That's why I have radio that has dual receiver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if you want to, you can actually feed on the second antenna from an RX out, okay, from another radio. That means you use the RX out and you feed the other radio. So actually when you transmit, it's put to ground as well. There's also some boxes like um, MFJ do some boxes for that, uh, the, the SDR, the 7 1508 okay that you can have for a second receiver but not two transceiver and you also have uh, dx engineering that do uh, boxes like the rtr 2a i used to have the rtr 1a and i was able to use two hf radio at the same time even on the same frequency and when i transmitted you know uh, the signal was s9 on the other one with which was on the same frequency so this worked very well too but uh, depending on your setup i don't have any use of having all the radio working at the same time because I have a problem even listening to two receivers at the same time. So if I'm working on radio, I usually shut down the volume on the other. So it doesn't matter to me, but at least like that, if I want to try and I feel like using the 7200 or the MP1, you know, I just switch and that's it. So hope this was useful for you. So catch you some other time. If you're not uh, a subscriber already, please subscribe. Do a like, this is important to promote my videos to others and it helps and your support is very much appreciated that's only the only thing i ask you if you can if you enjoy this my videos please subscribe and share share with your friend and also if you are a subscriber you can check on that notification bell to be uh, notified as soon as a new video is online so you will be noticed as soon as a new video uh, come out so uh, that can be uh, great if you want to know uh, what's going on you know in in my uh, shack so that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. On that, I'll say 73 and catch you some other time.